Last week, the FDA approved Cabenfi, the first antipsychotic to make a clean break with the usual dopamine blocking mechanism of action. Copenfi is the brand name for Car XT, and Car XT is actually a combination of two drugs xanamoline, that's the X, and trospium, that's the T. Xanamoline is the main ingredient here. It is a muscarinic, that's cholinergic, agonist that is selective for the M1 and M4 receptors. Now, when you hear the word muscarinic, think acetylcholine. That's the neurotransmitter that generally activates muscarinic receptors. The drug was synthesized in the early 1990s and developed as a therapy for Alzheimer's dementia. It improved cognitive and behavioral symptoms of dementia, but there was a big catch. Over half of the patients stopped xanamoline because of cholinergic side effects. Salivation, diarrhea, vomiting, tearfulness, muscle cramps, and twitching. With a discontinuation rate around 50%, xanamoline was shelved. But psychiatrists took note of something in the dementia trials. Delusions and hallucinations improved on the drug in these patients with dementia. This took them back to a study from 1957 when an extract of the beetle leaf, ericoline, improved symptoms in schizophrenia. That ericoline is also cholinergic, much like xanamoline. In Southern Asia, people have chewed the betel leaf for over 5,000 years to improve energy and alertness. And psychiatrists have long noted a pattern where people in that region who have schizophrenia have better outcomes if they are heavy users of the betel leaf. The main ingredient in the betel leaf is ericoline, which is a muscarinic agonist that works much like xanomaline. Muscarinic neurons also are known to play a role in schizophrenia because these neurons reach into the dopaminergic and glutamatergic systems, indirectly regulating those two neurotransmitters that are so central to psychosis. first psychiatric trial of xanamoline came in 2008, where it improved both cognitive and psychotic symptoms in 10 patients with schizophrenia, compared to another 10 who took placebo. This was promising but there was still concern about cholinergic side effects. So Eli Lilly shelved the drug. Ten years later, they sold it to Karuna Therapeutics, who paired it with an anticholinergic med for overactive bladder, Trospium, brand name Sanctura. Trospium had recently gone generic, and Karuna thought they could use it to damp down Xanamaline's side effects because Trospium only acts on the periphery. It doesn't enter the brain. They patented the combo as CAR-XT, and tested it on healthy volunteers, where it cut the rate of cholinergic side effects in half. The next major leap came in 2021, when CAR-XT improved positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia in a study of 182 patients published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The main side effects, as we might expect, were a mix of cholinergic and anticholinergic effects. What was missing from the list were side effects that we normally associate with antipsychotics, fatigue, weight gain, akathisia, and extrapyramidal symptoms. That trial is called Emergent 1, and it was followed by Emergent 2 and 3, with a third installment published this August. Here's what emerges from those three trials. All were double-blind, placebo-controlled, and all enrolled hospitalized patients with acute exacerbation of schizophrenia, 690 patients in all. All were positive, with effect sizes ranging from 0.6 to 0.75, similar to what we see with other antipsychotics. Where car XT stands out is in its side effects. Patients were no more likely to stop the drug than they were placebo in these five-week trials, and none of the usual metabolic and extrapyramidal problems we associate with antipsychotics showed up. We don't know if CAR-XT prevents psychotic illness long-term or much at all about its long-term effects. We do have a few other warnings, though, that the FDA added to the product labeling about CAR-XT that you're going to need to know before prescribing it, and you might be prescribing it soon. The drug can cause urinary retention, particularly in the elderly, and it can also slow down the GI tract. 
Car XT has a rare association with liver toxicity and angioedema, an allergic reaction involving swelling in the face and eyes. Car XT is primarily metabolized through CYP2D6, like a lot of drugs, and it has a short half life, about five hours, so it is unfortunately dosed twice a day. We expect Car XT on the market and on the pharmacy shelves as early as this November, but that could be delayed. We don't have a clear date. In the early 1950s, the first dopamine blocking antipsychotic revolutionized psychiatry, chlorpromazine. 70 years later, Car XT brings a new mechanism to the table. Whether it will change the game or just reduce the side effects, we don't know. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and head on over to thecarlatreport.com and consider subscribing to our newsletter, which brings you unbiased news about all things psychiatric with useful clinical updates, expert interviews, and bottom line assessments of the latest research studies. Thanks for watching.